Islam. I'm, I'm Ron Darrington Bay. It's the 2nd of November, I mean September of 2021. This car just stopped. And these black males got, got out the car. Um, I'm on my way to work after the tornado. This is West Street. It just stopped right in front of me. A lot of times this happened on my way to work. There was a tornado and black Negro males will walk towards my way or try to walk in front of me and the black Negro females. Police. The tornado was yesterday in Annapolis, Maryland. I tried to call Burger King to see if they were open. No one answered. I remember yesterday while we were at, I was at Burger King, a tornado passed through. Um, and once again, um, there's still black accent, Negro male and female accent talking around the room at an American Citizens Day, saying, brother, I love you. We paid like they paid for a human being or they paid for a citizen. Now, this is 2021. Why would anyone, especially someone that says that they're um, African American and probably know about and probably talk about the slavery of um, so-called African Americans and how they, and especially in Annapolis, in Annapolis where, um, excuse me, thank you, where the uh, man that did the movie Roots that his um, ancestral line comes from, or he have roots, or he have um, uh, a line of, um, I forgot his name, who did um, the movie Roots about slavery. Um, but they have a monument in Annapolis um, I'm dedicated to him. Um, I forgot his name. Um, so it's, it's unbelievable to hear so many black males Negro males and females say they paid for something. They're like, I, we paid, we paid. And then my genitals, my genitals might be spiritually attacked. Or my dreams might be. I am. Um, cross on the side of the street and I'll get there from there. Okay, go ahead and cross now. Yep. Okay. Okay, that's the police. Um, she said cross over to this side of the street. See, this is some of what, um, right in, this is right in front of Burger King and all around the Burger King. Um, so anyway, hearing accents with a, a black Negro accent said America didn't stay, saying we paid and my dreams are manipulated spiritually, mentally, this is a spirit this is dealing with spirit and um like a black negro male no. um no passing anywhere anytime soon no passing anywhere anytime soon yeah where, where exactly are you trying to go burger king yeah no burger king's out of, out of power they're, they're not open they're not open okay and where are you trying to go uh drexel or excuse me drexel excuse me it's a uh uh, anything that's oh, anything okay. is between here and that big tall building has no power and there's nothing nothing's open um, okay yeah. do you think they'll be open tomorrow uh, hopefully they're they're working hard they're getting all the wires off the ground and they're being open the problem is the electrical power right that's what i thought i kept trying to call and no one picked up and i remember so they're probably not open okay thank you they were doing that yeah. they were doing the construct like checking on the business and stuff it's not open it's not, yeah, um, so you can't get a check or anything like right. that. No, it's not. I understand. Yeah. I'm compliant. Yep. No, okay, <laughs> have a great day. All right, hon. Sorry to make you walk all the way. Oh, no. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Let me just, I wanted to, um, yeah, you can okay, take thank you. <laughs> yeah, so yesterday at Burger King, um, it was, um, it was definitely, I mean, I, I grew up around tornado warnings and um, tornado watch. Anyway, getting back, yes, yeah, so my, my dreams being manipulated, um, someone um, trying to, this is spiritually, have sex, and then I told you about the time, and this, and I'm not um, accusing these cops here, uh, there was an accident right here, actually right here, there's the, co the crosswalk right here in front of me. Uh, what happened was um, a pale-skinned lady had slowed down. She actually slowed down. Um, and went to, and came to a complete stop. And then 
um, the black male behind her still ran into her. And just so happened, an undercover police in an SUV was next to her in this right lane, in this other lane, and turned on his lights. And he was pale skin, so it was a, a pale skin lady stopped, and she was, you know, signaling me to go ahead and walk. I had just got off work from Burger King, and um, the black male behind her ran into her. This is, um, I think it was April of 2000. The COVID-19 coronavirus um, restrictions just pretty much started. They started in March of 2000. And I remember because the, the black male had a mask on when he got out of his car. And anyway, when the guy got out the SUV, the police got out his SUV, um, he looked at me and said he F-U-C-K-U. I was, by that time I was standing across the street right here after when I, um, as I was grab as I was turning on my tablet to record it because I knew something was so odd. I was like, now, is that a coincidence that a police, undercover police would be right next to this, this car? <laughs> and that, cause there's so many accidents on the street on my path to work. I couldn't believe to see so many accidents on in Annapolis. And we had just, and we moved from New York. New York, we stayed in New York for almost two years. I didn't see not one car accident. And we were out almost, I can't tell you, almost every day, cause, or uh, a lot, we were out in New York. We had to uh, navigate. Um, it was very new. Oh, yeah. And I couldn't, doing, doing, I could not believe all the car accidents I would see. Hey, I would see in Annapolis on my path to work. And, um, it, you know, I was like, I hope these people, I mean, if they have insurance, um, because if you're doing insurance fraud, then, um, okay, you can report your car accident, call the insurance to get money for your car because of the damage, and then don't get your car fixed. But, um, yeah, so, um, that day, particular day, when that car accident happened in front of me, um, the black male came out and then, um, the undercover police officer was in a black SUV. He turned on his lights, the lights were from inside, and he, I was getting my camera out, and I started pressing the button to turn, you know, getting everything set up to um, record. He, um, I, I, could, I looked across and I could tell he was frustrated. He looked at me directly and said he fucked. He, I mean, he F U C K U. He was like right here. Excuse me. I don't like. I don't use F. I don't curse that much at all. I try not. Excuse me, Allah. So let me. I'll show you. It's not. My, excuse me. Uh, anyway, and I can't believe it, but um, I definitely saw that happen. Ma'am. Ma yeah. We just. You wouldn't mind walking on the other side of the crosswalk. Okay. Oh, okay. I wasn't supposed to be. Okay. You, you were supposed you, to be down there, but I was letting you make a video. Yep. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. And so. Anyway, um, yeah, so. You can also go up in the parking lot and mm -hmm. stay underneath the tape, okay? Underneath, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go, I'll go back. Okay, all right, well, have a good night. I, I'm having a well night. Take care. Uh, you too, you take care as well. So, anyway, the black males were already, I was able to walk all the way down there. But, um, so, I was, I was like, um, I was just surprised to see so many car accidents. Um, here in Annapolis where it's not as busy as New York. In New York um, we navigated Brooklyn mostly Brooklyn and the Bronx and Queens. So hi. in New York we were navigating walking across the street. The streets are all busy. Oh my goodness so busy. Um, we, navig we went over the Brooklyn Bridge. I drove over the Brooklyn Bridge, Bronx and Queens. And I didn't see not one car accident. Now I'm not saying not one car accident didn't happen, but I never seen it. I didn't see it, especially you know. But here I was seeing them all the time. So anyway, you notice the cops used the word man. Um, okay, and I um, I noticed because um, um, when I speak of unclean spirits. Um, especially in reference to black Negroes or um, unnatural or it could be Spanish speaking, pale skin, you're dealing with unclean, unnatural spirits. I'm not saying all the time. Um, some reason, um, pedestrians or citizens would start using the word man. The cop, 
use the word man. Okay? Now, um, in my thoughts, if you a man, okay, that means of a natural divine being, you wouldn't have to rape, molest, stalk anyone. Because when you are a true American citizen, you don't have to rape and you uphold constitutional laws of freedom. You don't have to rape, molest, or stalk anyone. So, um, so I want to make sure you realize that the police use the word man. Because I also put that, um, I remember when, um, Thomas, the manager at Burger King, he's a black male or African-American uh, male. I don't know if he claimed a nationality. That'll be the description. When I um, noticed he would say mo to the customers and then and to the co-workers, then finally he got bold enough to say mo to me. And I corrected him. I said, sir, did you say mo? He wouldn't answer. I said, did you just say mo? He wouldn't answer. And, um, and then he started saying, I think if I remember correctly, I, rec I um, documented it, so I'm going by my memory now. If I could be in mistaken. Then he starts saying, Mo man, Mo man, Mo man. Okay? Um, many more, we say Mo to one another. And I have never been anywhere where people address others, especially when they're in a the business of customer service, saying Mo. I have never been nowhere where um, people in customer service serving the um, public who address customers as Mo, ever. So when I um, told Carl, the owner of Burger King about this, I told him, I said he was saying, and, I, and he brought Thomas in the conversation. Thomas denied it. And Allah, Allah, Allah. And still to this day, I, he still, use the word mo in reference to the customers and um, the co-workers and also some of the um, customers um, that represented the United States military, the Navy and the Army that would sit there for hours at a time at Burger King <laughs> um, use, will use the word mo as I was recording and doing tapes and I got and I heard I would listen to the recording and I'll hear them say mo on my recording so um but um and I noticed that later so um once again and Imani and I Gray Bay Imani Gray Bay my son I Ron and Arrington Bay we reclaimed our nationality in 2014 Moorish American is our nationality we um, took an oath and affirmed to uphold constitutional laws. Okay? The U.S.A. Constitution of 1787, the 13th Amendment with 20 sections, and all four of Abraham Lincoln's proclamations. Um, these are divine natural laws of freedom. So, and we reclaimed our nationality in 2014, um, corrected our status, our social security card, our, um, our state ID, our birth certificates as Moorish Americans while we have been here in Annapolis, Maryland. Okay, so I was just, I was like, you know, this is odd to hear military men or males, you know, um, at a restaurant that sits there hours at a time, just so happen while I'm recording, saying mo. And then those that work for Burger King start saying mo. Sometimes it sounds like he, Thomas, don't say mo all the way. It's like, like he's trying to mumble it. Like it almost sounds like he's saying mo um, now as well. So it could be easily mistaken. Like he didn't... Um, like, um, I don't know, almost like he want me to question him. I could question him again, but I don't. As, unless he addressed me again, and I think he addressed me as Mo. I can, but I did um, address him. When he, I knew he said it, and he didn't say, no, Rhonda, I didn't call you Mo. He just started saying Mo, man, Mo, man, 
Mo Man. And just going back, it is September 2nd, 2021. The police used the word man. Now, um, we are among unclean, unnatural spirits. Um, that means they could be mixed with eight dog, human, humanoid robots that can control electricity, okay? But that doesn't mean every African-American male, female, every pale-skinned male, female, every uh, Spanish-speaking male, female, or wherever they may be from, is an experiment. It doesn't mean they are unclean, all right? So, I don't think, um, uh, you know, we, it, when, you, uh, when I hear them emphasize on the word man, I'm like, why would someone have to emphasize on the word man to um, speak, to, um, to um, either have a conversation or in a, in a sentence in Annapolis, uh, Maryland? Okay. Um, the new girl um, that works for Burger King now, she, I don't know how to pronounce her name right. Still, sometimes she wears a, a name tag, sometimes she don't. I try my best to. I, I put, I, I think her name is Shimera. Um, last week, she's um, African American, Black Negro, uh, uh, according to constitutional law. The African American Black Negro, because if you haven't claimed a nationality, that is what you classified under. Um, I noticed she uh, made mistakes and was giving um, the um, wrong um, food away, or uh, maybe a, a fry, a wrong fry, where it should be a small, the customer to a large, once before. So um, last week. Um, Last week, look, a feather on my way to, um, and as I'm talking about this, on these on my path, I see feathers too. So this one particular time last week, cause she was, she told me to shut up um, so many times in front of the customers and she only been working for Berkey for a month and a half. I said, these are some of the behaviors that Phyllis would do, the African-American female. I don't know if they claim a nationality. I'm just giving a description. And I told her, I said, I'm going to report you. Because uh, you don't have to say that to, and that's um, in front, I mean, in, on the front line at the registers. Like, you know, so there was this black male post officer, um, man that drives the post office truck or a mailman. Um, I noticed um, as we were expediting food, the ticket said small fry. And she gave him a large or the, a larger fry. And this is not the first time, and she's new at Burger King. So, um, and as she, um, as she did it, she used the word man, all right? And I tried to grab, um, show her, like, um, say, and stop her before she did, I noticed it was a mistake. And she jerked the um, bag and went and let me see the ticket so I could show her, and gave him the food. And he looked at me and said, I can pay for it if you want me to. And she, she used the word man, as she was talking, she said, I'm trying to give this man the food or something like that. And I told her, I said, Shamara, maybe if you stop focusing, because I hear her use the word man on the customer being a man or a woman, but focus on the customer being a guest of Burger King, a customer of Burger King. Maybe if you stop personalizing man or woman, you'll stop giving away Burger King's food, Islam. You, you would stop giving away Burger King's food and making mistakes like that. So, um, in Monte Gray Bay and I run the Arrington Bay as most Americans, we don't know anyone personally here in Annapolis, Maryland. No one can say they know us personally. We have, um, we befriended them, no one. Okay, Islam. Um, we have never gone to a mosque, a church, or a Catholic temple. We, um, we keep, we literally keep, uh, keep ourselves as natural lives, because we are natural lives, divine celestial beings, uh, to ourselves, 
and just basically walk, do, do it. This is my path to work, by the way, um, and back to the room um, to ourselves as we continue navigating. So um, it is no need for me to personalize anything at Burger King with the people I work with because I am working there. I'm earning money. It is no need. Um, for, I'm there to earn money, keep, um, keep everything general, and leave Islam. But like I said, at American Senate Day, I hear some of the same words being spoken outside, around the room, or even like there's a mic in the room that I hear when I'm out. And even um, some of the co-workers I notice have said some of the things, like using the word brother out of the ordinary or too much. And, and now emphasizing on the word man, Islam. Um, this is September the 2nd, 2021.